What's going on everybody? I guess here back again. Some time ago I did publish a blog post with the title What takes the disk space? In this blog post I'm crazy bro. I'm cra I'm I'm crazy. I'm crazy proud of the chapter biggest data coming to the instance right now. So let's click on it. Putting page on full screen. There are three queries dedicated for MySQL and three queries dedicated for PostgreSQL. These queries can be used like a copy and paste type of situation and they are suitable for any type of Zabbix version. Any version. I will copy the first block to clipboard. This will analyze the history log table, which is responsible for holding log entries, SNMP traps and Windows event logs. Going to SSH channel, authorizing into MySQL and pasting this sample SQL query from clipboard. No response for me. Well, because I have a small database. Let's increase the interval. I will hit arrow up button to bring up the previous command. We'll add few more zeros. Let's analyze last 50,000 minutes and hit enter. I have some URLs on screen. We can use this addresses in the graphical interface. I will copy the first one to clipboard and open it in the front end. Enter. I see the host title and the item name which fulfills the database the most per this particular table. You should also try to analyze history text and history string table. Let's have another example for Postgres database engine. I will analyze table history text. Copy the SQL query to clipboard. Go back to SSH terminal. Exit my MySQL client. And by using PSQL utility, I will authorize into a Postgres SQL database. Publishing the query from clipboard and enter and again nothing was reported in the last five minutes. We should always run with five minute interval before even thinking to increase the interval. This is to see if database engine can handle such a task. Bringing back command from history, navigating cursor to the interval, adding more zeros and enter. Now I have some URLs. We'll copy the leader to the clipboard, opening my Postgres instance, replacing the URL with the address from clipboard and hitting enter. And here again I have some host name and the item name which collects quite some uh, not useful stuff. All right, that is for this presentation. If you find this video helpful, kindly give me a thumbs up. And uh, by the way, the URL of this blog post is in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.